This is Van Science, and today I'm going to be solving a chemistry problem for you involving the effusion of gases. The problem is as follows. Arsenic-3 sulfide sublimes readily, even below its melting point of 320 degrees Celsius. The molecules of the vapor phase are found to effuse through a tiny hole at 0.28 times the rate of effusion of argon atoms under the same conditions of temperature and pressure. What is the molecular formula of arsenic-3 sulfide in the gas phase? So let's get started, shall we? In order to solve this problem, first we're going to need some molar masses. We know that argon is 40 grams per mole, and we know that arsenic is 75 grams per mole. And we know that sulfur is 32 grams per mole. The rate of effusion of gases is modeled by the equation R1 over R2 equals the square root of M2 over M1, where R1 and R2 are the rates of effusion of two gases and M1 and M2 are the molar masses of said gases. We know that the rate of effusion between arsenic-3 sulfide and argon is 0 0.28. 0 0.28 equals. And we also know that the molar mass of argon is 40 grams per mole. By squaring both sides, we get that 0 0.0784 equals 40 over x. x equals 40 over 0 0.0784, which is about equal to 510 grams per mole. Now, we also know that because arsenic is 3 plus and sulfur is 2 minus, that these are going to bond in the empirical formula As2S3. This empirical formula has an empirical mass of 2 times arsenic's molar mass of 75 grams per mole plus 3 times sulfur's mass of 32 grams per mole, which gives us a total empirical mass of about 246 grams per mole. Now, we know that our molecular weight is 510 grams per mole. And 510 grams per mole divided by 246 grams per mole is approximately 2. So we need to multiply our empirical formula by 2, which gives us a final answer of arsenic 3, no, arsenic 4, sulfur 6.